Hi, my name is Brent Dean. I'm a product manager for Persian Pressurization Systems. In this video, I'm going to go over 7500 and describe the LEDs and how they should function um, during setup and under normal operation. I have a syringe connected to uh, the system, and this is the reference port, and all I'm doing is um, just giving it a little bit of air to represent a positive pressure uh, within the unit. So if we're just setting our system up, um, we apply power to the unit. I have it wired up. And now we already programmed it. You can see our set points here. 0.7 is our uh, minimum pressure. So if we drop below that, um, we either cut power to our enclosure or we set off an alarm. Then this two inches, uh, this two over here represents our P2 set point. The four inches represents our purge or our P3 set point. And our six over here represents um, six inches of water calm or a P4 or a max set point. Now what, you, what should happen when you first uh, start up your system is you open your needle valve if you have a automatic system or a manual system. So I'm just going to push on the syringe a little bit. Whoops, that's, that's a little touchy. Let's get a little bit of air in there. So now I'm at 1.36 inches of water calm. So I'm in safe pressure. I'm above my 0.7 uh, minimum set point. But um, you can see now that I'm above my minimum set point, you have a blue LED, which is for safe pressure, and also um, SV, that represents the solenoid valve. So the solenoid valve is now energized if you're using automatic system. It's pushing air into the enclosure, trying to get up to your purge pressure that you set, your P3 set point, which again is this four inches of water pressure. But as you can tell, I'm only at 1.27, so the purging timer has not started yet. It's not gonna start until I get above four inches of water. So if I increase the air a little bit, Once we get above four, you can see our timer started counting down. Our solenoid is still active by the amber LED. So now we're going through our purging cycle. Once our purging cycle is complete, our enclosure um, power LED turned on and our, uh, we have safe enclosure pressure. What I have here, this aux switch, that can be used for an alarm. For this example, I wanted it to turn on. I have it programmed to turn on the exactly the same as the enclosure uh, pressure LED or the K1 contact. So now if I drop it down out of safe pressure, again, all of them shut off. My K1 contact opens or kills power to my enclosure. Um, my K2 contact um, behaves the exact same way as the K1. That's how I have it programmed. And then for the solenoid valve is shut off in my enclosure pressure. So if I just get it back up in the safe pressure, you can see my solenoid is kicked on again and it's trying to get back up to the purging pressure of four inches of water. And then the purge timer will start again. So all these LEDs represent, there's four LEDs. In the first slot, we have a blue enclosure pressure. That's just to, um, once you get above your P1 setting, the enclosure pressure turns blue. It'll turn on the solenoid valve, this amber LED in there. Then once you get above your purging pressure, your timer will start. And then once the timer um, goes down or is the purging cycle is complete, your K1 co contact energizes and provides energy, energy to your enclosure. Thank you for taking the time to watch this how-to video. In the comments section below, please find the other links to our um, instructional videos on the 7500 purge system. Also, please like and share our YouTube channel.